being a lover of fire, being the fire goddess of Black Rock City, I, I want the man or anything that you set on fire, you want it to last a little bit. Unless you're just going for the big boom and you're blowing something up. I don't want the man to fall too quickly. And over the years, a lot of things have happened. You know, the, the, when he raises his arms, sometimes it's shorted out the neon. You know, sometimes the pyrotechnics have gone off early. Um, you want it to burn enough, but you also want to bring it down. She transfer the fire from the fire cauldron, put it in the Lumiferous, which is a gigantic lantern, and then we'll, we'll process to the Great Circle. And a little bit of that fire will be given to each one of the 33 groups. And so symbolically, we're bringing the fire in. But at this point, it's all electronically fired. You know, a science to how things are packed and having a lift charge to make it go. I mean, you can have pyrotechnics that just are ground works, but you need some kind of a lift, some kind of black powder that actually will make it, you know, go into the air. The, the fact that we're at 1.4 1 is, is sort of consumer pyros in a certain sense. Anything going up higher is going to have a bigger lift, so it goes higher in the air and is more dangerous. So the fact that this is, is closer to an audience, there's not as much lift. There's some, certainly, to stir things up. I really do trust my pyrotechnicians um, to be able to do things correctly. And you know, there's still some mystery to it. I've, I've seen how they actually put the right things together to make it go. But a lot of it is very magical to me. <laughs>